This is 3C where we're going to put all four parts together, soprano, alto, tenor, bass. Make sure you're in the right octave. Remember that tenor voice is down an octave. So we've got bass, tenor, alto, soprano, good old D minor chord, and it's gonna go to a diminished chord, and then back to D minor. So there's not that much happening <clears throat> in the beginning. I'll do that again, D minor. sharp diminished going to one diminished seven goes to one and then you have a reboising of that one chord and really the same chord C C sharp diminished just revoiced with the E in the bass and guess what that goes back to D minor again so there's lots of patterns here take a couple of minutes stop the video and <clears throat> you can write in those chords or just listen to it a bunch of times so here's one through five D minor, C sharp has to resolve up, D minor again, diminished chord but a different voicing, a different inversion, again one more time without me talking, one. go on from measure 5 beat 3. Again that's just a D minor chord. So far you've only played two chords, right? Now it changes a little bit. All right. There's a G sharp diminished chord. That G sharp acts as a 7 to the dominant and you end on a half cadence the dominant, okay? Here's measure 5 beat 3. Now, if you want to take that last alto note with the right hand, you can, it's, and then the right hand plays just one note. That's the last note, the alto note, but it doesn't matter. The right hand can take it or the left hand. Let's put that all together. Here's measure one. One. just playing the soprano note. Good luck. Let me know if you have any questions. Practice a little every day. You'll get it. Okay? Good luck.